Hi everyone and welcome back to Artful. Today we're going to be using some templates and some lino to create our own Halloween themed greeting cards. You'll be able to download some of these templates in the description below, but we're going to be working with the pumpkin template. What I want you to do is taking a thick heavy pencil is trace over the line work of the image, flip the image over, scribble on the back of it with your pencil and this should create a graphite print of the image. You'll then be able to use this as a template to start carving away your lino. I'll be using a size 6 liner cut gutter blade because it's sort of in the middle, it's not too big, it's not too small, just gives me enough control to work with the image I have. If you want a point of reference, use your paper template to figure out what you'll be carving away with your lino gutter. Everything in the white is what you should be carving away and everything in the black is what you should leave remaining so it can pick up the ink. This should result in your lino sheet design looking a bit like this once you apply the black ink. As ever, make sure you're carving away from yourself because your lino is actually very slippy and it'll be very easy to slip, veer off in the wrong direction and hit something fleshy. In the late Victorian times and the early 20th century, it was actually normal practice to give each other Halloween cards to celebrate the season and I for one think it's a shame that that tradition has kind of died out. So let's try and reinvigorate that tradition by using the card set from our artful boxes. We all give loads of cards wishing people well, and I think we should return to giving each other a scary trick-or-treat message. If you do make your own cards following along to this tutorial, then please let me know and tag me on Instagram at artfulbox. A thing to look out for is that because you're essentially carving onto a rubber sheet, some of the graphite details from your template can get lost. For example, some of the line work in my pumpkin is kind of gone because I kept rubbing it with my hand, but I kept using my paper reference to make sure I knew where the lines would be. So if some of your pencil lines disappear, don't fret, you've still got your paper template as a reference point. Once you've carved everything away from your lino sheet, now it's time to start printing. When you start printing, what you're going to want to do is load up your brayer with the black ink. You're going to want an even distribution of the print, so make sure your brayer is well covered. Once you start adding ink to your lino sheet, it's also a great opportunity to see which bits of the artwork that you haven't carved away properly. You'll see the bits that have been left over will start to pick up the black ink. So if you see a bit of your design that's picked up a bit of ink that shouldn't have, then simply wash your lino sheet and carve that bit away. Once you've applied your ink to the sheet, place one of your cards face down on top of your design. Put a bit of paper on top of this and using the same brayer, apply a consistent pressure to the back of the print so the ink evenly prints to your design. If you want to get your design completely central, then you could incorporate the shape of the card into the lino sheet. I'm just eyeballing it, but you've got to remember that I've done it lots and lots of times. What you want to try and achieve is to try and get the design of your lino sheet slap bang in the middle of your card. And there we go, there's our Halloween pumpkin card. Let us know in the comments down below how you got on carving our pumpkin or any of our other templates. We've also got a template of a cat silhouetted against the moonlight, a ghostly sheet and some Dracula teeth. So get carving. If you want to see some earlier videos, like and subscribe to our YouTube and why not treat yourself and visit artful.co.uk. Thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you soon with a new video.